Read the full genome of an Egyptian living around 4,500 years that one. It points to the links to Mesopotamia. Scientists extracted and sequenced the DNA of the Egyptian, it lived between 4,800 and 4,500 years ago. It's the oldest sequenced DNA from Egypt is from the time when the pyramids were built. His analysis indicates links with Mesopotamia and shed new light on the development of ancient of Egyptian civilization. Forty years ago, the Nobel laureate, Svante Pibo, he extracted DNA from a 2,400-year-old Egyptian mummy. Later on it turned out it is that these sequences were contaminated with modern DNA, but its work it paved the way for new research. In these works, scientists from Francis Crick the Institute and Liverpool John Moores University, LJMU, have generated full A sequence of genomes. It used to have a tooth of a person who lived around in time, when the first pyramids were built. The results and description of the research appeared in the journal Nature. Scientists extract DNA from the tooth of a person buried in Nuere, a village 265 kilometers south of Cairo. Then thereafter they used it to sequence its genome. The remains were transferred to the Institute of Archaeology in Liverpool, then moved to the World Museum Liverpool, even when Egypt was under British rule. This person died during the old state and state burial in a large, tightly closed ceramic vessel in a tomb forged in a hillside. Her burial took place before the introduction standard mummification, which could help to maintain DNA. The climate in climate Egypt and the processes used in mummification are rapidly degrading the biological material. This person lived a few centuries after the reunification of the Upper One and of the Lower Egypt. This period is sometimes called the Era of the Pyramids, because it is the first monumental buildings began to be built. Analyzing the genetic code, the researchers showed that the majority of the person's ancestors were from North Africa. About 80% of the genome is related to the lines in North Africa. The remaining 20% is related to people living in the region of the Fertile Crescent, in particular from the area the Mesopotamia. The Fertile Crescent is an area of West Asia that spans between other Iraq, Iran, and Jordan. This shows that people migrated to Egypt and interbreed with the local population at that time. These results are from genetic studies but previously scientists have come to similar conclusions by analyzing the ancient the archaeological finds. These artifacts point to trade links and cultural with a fertile crescent. Scientists believe that various objects, but the styles of writing or the ways of making ceramics were also replaced. They also point out that more full genome sequences of ancient Egyptians would allow better understand the then Egyptian society, with migrants and traffickers coming from other parts of Africa and Mesopotamia. The analysis also allowed to know dietary habits and the environment in which that person lived. Researchers also estimated, gender, height, age and obtained information about the lifestyle. He was a man who probably grew up in a hot and dry Nile Valley, eating animal protein and plants such as wheat and the barley. It was a typical Egyptian diet from that time. Died between 2855 and 2570 BCE he probably had dark hair, brown eyes and dark the skin. It was about 160 centimeters tall and judging by the very smooth teeth and signs of arthritis, probably aged 44 to 64. It's an advanced one age for that time. The burial method suggests that he had a high social status, but his body has traces of physical work. Researchers believe he may have worked as potter or in a profession requiring a similar, seated position with outstretched with his feet and hands and his head bowed. His stream of bone is enlarged, 
his arms show signs of repeated movements back and forth, and in the right the foot has significant arthritis. Although these are just tips, they suggest that he dealt with the product of ceramics using a pottery circle Joel Irish of Liverpool John Moore's University said in a statement at the same time, that the potter does not expect a burial reserved for the upper classes. Perhaps he was exceptionally talented or successful to raise your social status. This person made an extraordinary journey. She lived and died in a critical period of change in ancient Egypt and its skeleton was dug in 1902 and donated to the World Museum Liverpool, where he survived bombings that destroyed most of the human remains in this collection. Now we are able to tell the story of this person, discovering that part her ancestors came from the Fertile Crescent, which emphasizes the mixing various groups at the time, said Linus Gerdland Flink, CEO author the publication. Scientists hope that new technologies will allow more detailed and nuanced research, which will result in better understanding ancient Egyptian civilization and its inhabitants.
Pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil.